Guys, welcome to the channel today. We're going to be detailing this brand new Silverado Z71. Check it out. It's new, but he got it all filthy. You know, a buddy of ours. He got bird crap, bugs all over it. What we're going to do is we're going to clean it all up. Using some Griot's products. We're gonna be using their foaming surface. Right here, get it all cleaned up. I'm gonna do an arm remover. We're not gonna do any polishing on it. We checked it out before, it's not too bad for swirls or anything like that. And then we're gonna go straight into Griot's three and one and see how long it'll last for him and see what he wants to do before winter in Michigan if we wanna put a ceramic spray or coating on it. Uh, check it out. He's got it filthy for us. We brought it over last week. It was nice and clean. I think he did it on purpose. Put me to work. All right. Okay, here's the stuff we're using right here today. We're going to be using their foam can. And also, what I did is I purchased this as their kit on their website a week ago. And I, and then you got a free so they had that going on and i picked up the three one at advance auto right here for 19 dollars and their kit and i got a towel actually also with it and the kit um, was all together 164 if you guys want to know if you want to pick up this kit right here it even came with the empty bottle where you can use put this add this in here for a spray if you want to use it for bug removers or if you want to just use the cannon right here if you know i have a cheaper foam cannon it works pretty good i figure why not get this kit right here check it out we can use it on some vehicles and everybody's been saying that this stuff works pretty good and then we got their service wash and then we have the poly gloss also we're not going to be using these today those these will be when we wash it next we'll have them bring it over and we can use these two products on his truck again and then we can see how well three and one wax is doing on a silverado all right we're gonna get to work and uh show you guys the process getting it cleaned up another thing too it's june and it's it's windy today and it's cool out today what do you think it is about today about uh, right now it's probably 65 about 65 today so we can work out in the sun we take advantage the paint's cool it's a little warm but not too bad so we'll be able to do all these steps today outside and then i got my dog sitting right there that's hey, his truck that's how i'm paying for him take care of dogs that's it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, real quick too also with their foam cannon at first we're not getting a lot of foam and what it is they have these metering tips right here if you guys ever use giros garages foam cannon 
what it is you put this in there i know there's a ball inside there and i'll show later and you put these tips now since we're using a gas gas uh pressure washer it takes a pink tip you're not gonna it basically saves product and then then if you want uh and this the purple one's gonna be for electric and this one right here almost like uh aqua color and that one's if you don't care how much product you use you're gonna get maximum foam out of that and they even have a video explaining it also if you guys want to check that out we're gonna bring that up real quick because in the beginning we're not getting um much foam i'm gonna go over it again with the pink tip metering tip and then i might change it and then see how much foam we can get out of this surface prep so i basically looked at online i didn't see no videos on this bring that up all right ready Okay, we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes do not let it dry and then we're gonna rinse her off and then we're gonna do a contact wash take it out first time using this product we'll see how it does best bet to go with that different meter to get more foam the press washers allow but the, you can even spray it on your front or even if you want to do a contact wash get your bugs off the bugs came right off on this surface prep so if you guys ever wonder came right off okay we rinse it off with the surface prep we're gonna get ready we're gonna do a hand wash to it just so you guys it does work a little to uh get some of the Droppings off and it's supposed to help with uh, getting any grease any wax or sealants you have on there first time using it And got cleaned up a little bit if you guys should check it out I mean, I still got uh, dries up got some water spots. We definitely got to hand wash it That's for sure Now if it wasn't that filthy like last time he brought it over then it probably wouldn't be bad But we got some bugs right here still got a hit we're gonna get ready and hand wash it up Okay, on this service prep, you're better off to do a contact wash after you do that first step that I did. So you're pretty much, on this truck, we're gonna use that whole 1.6 ounces of the product for this truck, which is not bad at all. And what I do is I have a rinse bucket just to uh, rinse everything off, rinse the mid off. 
That's what I'm doing. Start at the top to the bottom. Once I get to the bottom, I go dunk my neck in some clean water. We're all done using the service prep. Check it out. We hand washed it. We're gonna do a little iron remover real quick before we put the three and one on there. We are not gonna polish it. it. Looks pretty good. We'll save that. We'll save the clear coat for another time. Cause he plans on keeping this truck unless he wrecks it. What's that? Don't put your hands on there. You scratch it. Yeah, don't scratch it. Get fucked up on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do some iron remover real quick. A couple spots I gotta get with some bugs in the front. We'll see if there's any iron on this new truck. How long have you had it? Two weeks? Uh, week and a half, 10 days. So you had it for 10 days, brand new truck. You already got it trash and dirty for us. Heck yeah, next time take us. Alright, well we'll let that sit. We don't want it to dry. See if it turns purple. We gotta do to clean the wheels, it's filthy. Alright, so far no it didn't we're good. We'll do the whole truck anyway, but no iron particles on the truck. That's good. Real purple. for a grill ceramic three in one wax check it out we washed it twice today got the wheels done got it all cleaned up we used that surface prep and this is our results and we end up using their soap the wash soap that we got and check it out it came out nice what's nice too with this truck being new there's hardly there's barely any scratches or swirls all right, we're gonna basically use this on a panel at a time. You're gonna to wanna to use a microfiber towel, something uh, what I notice other guys are using. They're using something a little bit thicker. Right here, it helps. You're gonna have one to, to apply the product and one to dry off the product. And then we'll check out the end results. And we'll see how long it lasts through the summer. We can bring it back in a couple weeks and we'll wash it again. Let's see how it's holding up. Get to work. Okay, pretty much you're gonna use a panel of time if you're out working on the sun Just do a little small section wipe it in and then use another Microfiber towel to buff it off. It's almost like a putting on a wax on and off This does have some canuba wax in it also And then he goes behind and buffs it off real quick This does not streak up at all right there a little bit if you miss it i'm sorry about that but it cut the streak and comes right off if you get any because i have a habit of overusing um, products and it's what's nice is the streaks come right out it's too real quick at a tip you're going to want this to allow to cure for 12 to 24 hours before exposing it to any water rain stuff like that so you're going to get your maximum durability that's pretty pretty easy to use all right basically this product is has a uv protection has some self-cleaning sio2 technology in it and we'll see how it does we're not going to do a water test on this we'll have them bring them back maybe hopefully in a couple weeks if you we can and we'll um, use some more of these products to get it cleaned up and and see how the beating is going to be on it all right we got to finish up we'll check out the end results Uh, look at that shine, no polish. Alright, there's the final results of the truck. The Silverado is looking good. Check it out.
que mamáis. We did the wheels. We did a three one on the wheels. Okay, and the surface prep right here, getting it all ready. It did clean it up pretty good. You can, you're gonna have to do a hand wash to it. And if you want more foam, use that different meter and tip that's inside it for the ball on their foam and can in. The gyros. Check it out. Clean up pretty good. Now on the three and the one, we'll see how long it lasts. I've seen some videos where the guys are getting up to about six months plus. It's holding up pretty good. You know, it's nice with this. If you get uh you wash it, you feel like you get some water spots or bird droppings, you need to do a little polish. You can do that and then reapply this product. It's very easy to use. Hardly any streaking, even if you use more a lot of the product you can use it on plastic it makes the plastic look great we did the plastic we also did the wheels right there so that's about it hopefully you can bring this back so we can do some updates on how the product is holding up all right that's it for this video and we'll have some videos at the end leak hope you guys can check them out we'll see you at the other videos make sure you comment have you used these products or do you plan on getting them and what do you guys think of how the truck looks Things a monster. Things huge. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this one. I appreciate it. All my new subscribers and old subscribers. You guys are great. Later. That's next. The Lincoln's next, and that's a brand new. That's gonna be the next detail. Look at that, that's out without polishing. Look at that shine. No polish. You make it a polish, brand new truck unless you need it. needed to. To get swirls. Not a Lincoln is hit. It's gonna need a polish. That black, there's scratches everywhere.